Hello. Um, today I will be showing you how to change your Mac app icons and your Finder and Trash icons as well. So the first thing you want to do is you open up your main browser and you go to Images. Um, you click it. And let's say I, I want to change my Google Earth icon. So click on that, and then all these icons will appear. And all these you have you have a lot of choices between. And let's say right now I want um, that one. So you click it and. You see full size image and then you double click and you click copy image if you have trackpad two fingers and copy image and then you exit out of that once you copied it then you, and then you the uh, trackpad two fingers you do that and then click show and finder so it happens in show and finder so after that you click it and you go to get info so then that will pop out. You click it, and then you will see a high, a blue highlighted uh, thing, square or circle around it. And yeah. So then after that, uh, after it's highlighted, you click edit and paste, and that will pop out. And after that, it won't change here, but it will change in these two. So after that, you're gonna wanna click it and remove from dock. So then that will pop out. Then you're gonna wanna drag this one. And there so then that will see and it will be changed and it will still work the same it won't erase nothing no data no nothing so then you will have there so that's basically how to change your app icons now I'm gonna show you how to change your finder and trash icons as well so the first thing you want to do is you open up your browser and the first thing you want to search for is light icon. You need to download this program from Google. So light icon. So go to Google and you click light. Uh, sorry about that. Light icon. Enter and then download light icon from Mac. Click that and that image right there. You click download. So after you download it, you install it. And after you download it and install it. You can put it in your dock or not, however you want it to be. And then you want to open it. So then it will open. And then that will pop out. It's going to say loading icons. It only takes like 10 seconds. So yeah, it's fast. So after that uh, happens, after it finished loading icons, you will see this. It's going to say general, folders, devices, dock, others, and relaunch, finder. Uh, so then that will pop out. So, the first thing you want to do is you click on dock and you will see your finder, dashboard, trash empty, trash full, URL, and widget. So, after that, let's say I want to change my finder icon. So, after that, you open up your browser and you click images. Let's say I want finder icon. All these pop out, and um, you see all these choices you can do. And let's say I want this one right here. So click that, then you double click and click save image as. So you save image as, and then make sure it says desktop, and you click save. So it just saves. You exit your browser and you will have it here. So after that, you wanna drag it into here where it says Finder. You see Finder? So you grab it and you drag it into Finder and then that will change. So after that changes, you click Apply Changes and you enter your password. Oh, sorry, I messed up. So enter your password and then you click Relaunch Finder. So to do that, it's going to uh, you click OK, and as you can see, it changed. So that's how you change your find icon and trash icon. And the only thing that happens is sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, is you will see these little question marks around your apps.
and this means you can't see the little picture but in order to change that you can just click it and click show and finder and then you, you will see that Microsoft Messenger and then it will go back to normal so you do that to every single one for example let's say maybe you've heard of App Zapper so show and finder and then that happens and then you will see your little app zapper so I'm not gonna do it right now but that's basically how you change your finder and trash and your Mac app icons so see you guys later thanks for watching